Hi everyone, it's Lily or Cool Rice Bunnies and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Fomemo M110 portable label printer. This was sent to me um, for review, but of course, like always, all thoughts and opinions are my own. It does come with a manual in different languages and a lot of very informative pictures, so that was nice. And of course, I went with the light pink one. It also comes in other colors like white, black, and orange. I think it's super cute. Also looks a little sus, I don't know. Gotta love that peel action. That was very nice. You can see it has a little screen on the front and it does come preloaded with thermal printing labels. As you can see here, I'm trying to set it up for my very first print. And yeah, I am not doing this properly. At all. <laughs> I'll show you what mistake I did later. But anyway, here is the Fomemo app that you use from your phone to set it up and get it connected. And then from here, you just make your own labels or select your own images and print whatever you want. All of the templates here are customizable and I was pretty impressed with the size of the library here. I'm just making a quick label here using some of the clip art-esque images that they have available. And we're gonna just test out what this image quality looks like. Once you've created your label, it's really quick to connect it to the actual printer with your phone. And you can also adjust the number of copies because it will print out consecutive copies for you if you want. And yeah, look at that. <laughs> it came out crooked because I set it up wrong. Yeah, that's my mistake. Um, yeah, that's definitely a user error. So let's pop it back open and see what I did wrong. So because I totally ignored the manual that the printer came with, I did not close up that little plastic barrel tight enough, which will align the labels all the way to the right and have it actually recognize the appropriate size. So printing again. That's how it should have come out. <laughs> Not crooked. <laughs> you can adjust different settings such as the language that the printer is in, as well as how dark the printer um, prints out the labels or how fast it prints out. On the side is where you can charge it with the micro USB cord and it also has a little loop on the bottom so you could attach a strap to it if you wanted to. I went ahead and I drew my own little images on my iPad in Procreate and I airdropped them to my cell phone as well as some other black and white images that I wanted to practice printing out. I really like how my drawn images printed out. I think this is going to be a great printer for when I start selling my own creations online and I start packaging things up. It's just really fun and exciting to see my logo on a little tiny label like that. And I actually put some of those labels to use. This was a commissioned wedding cake topper that I finished for a couple. It's Bob's Burgers themed. And I used the custom templates in the app to make my own little Cool Rice Bunnies label. It has my QR code, my social media handle, and a really cute little message. And I was so happy with it. And I also printed out uh, separately a Polaroid and I slapped my logo sticker right on the back. It's so cute. I love it so much. All right, back to test printing. Here's my boy Kilwa. I'm just gonna see how many details come out with this print. So you can see with like fine lines, like his hair and his arms, they're not as clear. 
and then you'll definitely see here that images with really fine details don't do as well. I think the more bold and thick the lines are, the better quality your labels will come out. Fomemo also sent me some round labels to try out. So here I am just reloading the new paper in. And then I'm just readjusting in the app and printing it out. I did have a couple issues with my first uh, set of labels because there was this leftover sticky residue on the paper that was getting in the way. And yeah, as you can see, it messed up again. <laughs> okay. One more time. But not a big deal. Third time's a charm. Super clean and great looking label. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I love how these turn out. I think the print quality is great. Again, the thicker um, and more bold that your lines are, the better the quality will be. And I also had a little fun with these labels and I took some alcohol ink markers and I just colored in some parts of it. So I thought that would be cool too if you wanted to take the customization a little bit further. So that's it for this video. The printer is currently about $52 on the Faux Memo website and I'll leave some links down below. But yeah, I think this would be great for any small business owners, people who need labels or organization stickers. I recommend it. Thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.